time to navigate up a steep hill over the roof of the cabin. We're gonna go down this steep hill. You ready for this? Yeah. Ooh, I gotta back up and get a better yeah, you should really position. Do this. <laughs> oh god. You're stuck. <laughs> this is how you make your darling um breathe harder. <laughs> <laughs> Shush. We can have to edit that out. <laughs> Some beautiful trees up ahead. We're the only oh ones God. that came up this hill over there. Oh, probably for a good reason. Alright. Well, let's turn Reserve park. We'll cross this river. Well, we won't. Well, no, I guess we won't cross it. Oh, he's <gasps> going to. Oh my God, that was a whole fun. Looks There's no way I'd do that. Oh, did it just die? No, he's made. Oh, yeah. Nope, he's went. He made it? Yeah. <laughs> crazy. That is crazy. There's the aftermath of yesterday's flood. The waters have moved through. You can hear the water still running out there. And the bridge we crossed yesterday was right there. So it's built to hold to flow water right over the top of it if it needs to. So it's it's a safe bridge to cross if the water is not too deep. So you want to be super careful. And I don't recommend ever crossing a flooded road. Um, I know we did, but we we had no yeah, like the video we just filmed and, at the other river. And we saw lots of people in small cars going across. So yeah. Really small cars. There was a lot of people in small cars crossing. So we felt we were safe to do so in a Jeep. It was a, a calculated risk. And I made the decision to come across because it was getting dark and we had nowhere else to go. And we don't want to be up in the mountain hills after dark trying to find a place to sleep. This leather vein. <laughs> the horse's tail. <laughs> if, if this was near our house or our cabin, I would buy it. Check it out, there's snow flurries coming down. We are shopping in Pine, Arizona, and this is an absolutely fantastic place to go. In every shop we go, there seems to be a cat at every shop and they pass in and out. This cat doesn't even live here. Nobody owns him, but he comes in and hangs out with the shop owners every day. And it's snowing out here, so he's hanging out inside the house, or inside the store. And he looks really mellow. He's a cute cat. Yeah, he's... So he just hangs out here at the antique shop and watches the shoppers. <laughs> I went to pet his ears, but he, he put his paws on my hand and pushed it away. He's like, no, nah, no petting today. See, like that. He's like, nah, no thank you. <laughs> I bet you'd like me to pet your tummy, wouldn't you? Now he's looking like he's getting silly. <laughs> Are you a silly cat? <laughs> a silly cat at an antique store? You're showing off now. Do you know about Frosty Life? Yeah, I bet you do. You've been watching us for years, haven't you? Whoa. <laughs> he must have found the catnip. Now he's over on the other chair. Being silly. Are you a silly cat? Yeah? Hi. You're a good boy. I'm assuming he's a boy. To me, every cat is a boy. You a silly boy? I think he likes the chair because it matches him. It's funny, he doesn't even live here, but he comes in every day. The shop owner told me that. He comes in every day to hang out. Is this your chair? You're not gonna let me buy it? He's so cute.
starting to snow here in, in Pine, Arizona, and people are all excited. We actually saw cactuses along the road, and yet we're up in the mountains, so they're getting one of their rare snowfalls, and they're supposed to get eight inches tomorrow. They're like ice pellets, and everyone's all excited about the snow. And they said nobody will drive around tomorrow in it. I want to have outdoor thrift stores at, I know, this is awesome. in Minnesota. I don't think it would succeed because it would freeze. This, is crazy. <laughs> this used to be an old high school. That part over there. Built in 1901. There's more. Out the door. We are at a thrift store in Pine, Arizona. Look at this old stove. It's an old General Electric. They made stoves so cool back then. I wish they'd make them like this now. Isn't this cool looking? What's this, a radio? No, it's a, some kind of meat thermometer. I don't know, but it's really cool. I think this is just like a passing lane thing. Mm. Yeah. But on the way down, a passing lane? Look at that, it's gorgeous. Oh, the clouds make it even better. So when I stop, this car shuts off. I don't like it. It makes Karen nervous. She, she's like, oh, your car's shut down. It's off. It's weird. And then when I let go of the brake, it starts right up and starts moving again. Isn't that beautiful, people? It's really, really <laughs> so, so these gone. new cars, they just shut themselves off when you stop. So, let go of the brake, it starts right up again. That's making Karen nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Look at the... Eh, I don't know what kind of bird that is. 